good Wednesday morning. It is February the, believe, the 7th. Yeah, February 7th. It's been a little while since I've made an update video. Um, I did mention in my last one that I was going to wait a couple weeks before making another one just so I had some stuff to talk about. Um, and so here I am. I got some stuff to talk about. Uh, as far as things that I've dealt with in the past, um, everything, I mean, my body feels pretty good. Uh, I was able to switch to kind of like a solid food diet, um, pretty much the style of diet I'll be on until they say I get my goal weight. Um, I was able to switch to that at the end of January, so it's been about two weeks going on three weeks of being able to just kind of eat normal food, uh, just healthier and smaller amounts of that. Um, that has been tremendously helpful. I've tried some different things that uh, I was really nervous about. Had steak for the first time. I know a lot of people will have issues with steak uh, because of how fibrous it is. Um, I've been able to have it couple of different times and not had any issue with it so uh, that is good it makes me happy um, also heard people have issue with pork um, I've been able to have pork as well um, without any issue uh, even kind of pushing limits a little bit um, I was able to have brisket smoked brisket without any issue as well uh, obviously trying to be a little bit careful especially with that brisket with the steak, um, of the fat content and the pieces that I'm eating and how much fat they have on it. So, um, but I haven't had any adverse reactions like as far as how my stomach has felt, uh, any pain or any um, dumping or foamies or anything like that from those foods at this point. Obviously that could all change because uh, I could go a period of time where something is fine and then all of a sudden my body says, nope, it's not fine today. So, hoping that that doesn't change. Um, I've also noticed a significantly lower um, restriction to the amount of intake of food that I can have. Um, as long as I am consciously making sure I'm chewing and eating slowly. Um, currently, I'm not getting to a point where I'm feeling full. I'm just mentally having to say, probably that's enough. Um, and so, uh, just kind of following portion sizing and um, just kind of eating just what's on my plate and obviously what I would have done prior to this surgery and change is I would have not felt like I was full, so I'd have gone back for more food. Um, so, obviously, I'm trying not to do that as well. Um, so those things have been somewhat uh, good. They've, uh, definitely my energy level has been back up um, significantly. Uh, I've been able to make it through uh, Sunday services and not feel completely exhausted the last two Sundays since I've been on uh, solid food. Uh, my singing voice has gotten better. Because of that, I've been able to have a little bit more power and consistency in my tone, um, which I was lacking when I did not have uh, the solid food nutrition. Um, let's see what else. Um, at the same time, where it's kind of a benefit, it's also a little bit freaky that I can eat some of these different things without having any issues and without feeling like I need to stop because I'm getting too full. Uh, those are all things that I've read are somewhat normal as you progress through. Um, uh, that's a little concerning, so just trying to be careful there. Um, one of the other things that has happened over the past probably two or three weeks is pretty much have stayed the same weight for that amount of time. I haven't really lost anything. Um, with the exception of until yesterday, I'll get there, but um, 
I pretty much fluctuated within a pound, um, up and down within a pound for about three weeks. Um, that could have been my body getting used to new foods. It could have been any number of things. Um, I did drop down uh, yesterday when I stepped on the scale. I was down three pounds from that one pound up and down. Um, and I maintained that this morning. We'll see if that is consistent or if I start to lose again or if I just kind of hang out in that range. I don't know. Uh, but that's kind of where that's at. The gout in my toe has not 100% gone away. I would say it's about 90% gone away. Point, I've kind of just decided I'm gonna stop, um, not stop treating it so much, but stop um, kind of babying it. I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to act like things are normal and push through it and hope that just over time it will loosen up that last 10% and go away and hopefully not come back. So, I did have some blood work done. Um, about three weeks ago now, um, and my uric acid levels, which is what would um, indicate that I'm having an issue, were were normal and not hot, elevated in any way. Um, so that's a positive, um, but it's still, I'd say, on a pain scale, on on any given moment, anywhere between a two, three out of ten, and sometimes depending on how I stand or walk. Um, walking upstairs and stuff like that I could shoot up to like a four. But it's not painful when I'm sleeping anymore. Um, when I'm just kind of sitting at the desk doing some work, it's not painful anymore. Um, I really have to be kind of walking and flexing that toe back for it to be uh, uncomfortable. So uh, part of the journey is getting in the gym, which I started doing right before the gout had flared up. I have not been back since the gout has flared up because uh, well, initially it was legitimately it was in a lot of pain. I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, I think in some ways uh, I was somewhat using that as an excuse. So um, along the same vein, I'm just kind of going about life like it's normal and dealing with it. I'm just going to get back in the gym. Uh, I've got my gym bag packed behind me today gym this sometime this afternoon between work and rehearsal and um, that's one of the things that the doctor has told me could cause my weight loss to stall out is not uh, not working out so so we're going to do that today and try to get back into a routine of doing that um, but other than that I mean yeah I'm feeling I'm pretty good I mean one of the things I mentally went through last week while I was just kind of hanging out at that that same weight for a long time was uh, with where I'm at right now, if I were not lose any more weight, and this would just be kind of where I was at for the rest of my life, would I be okay with that? And um, while it would be amazing to lose some more weight, I think I would be okay with where I'm at um, long term. I'm down 80 pounds from my highest weight. It's a little weird, 
Um, but this is why I went this route with surgery because mentally I really need to do some work and I am doing that with some therapy and counseling um, around the food stuff and just my, not even just food, but my mentality to start things really quickly and then kind of peter off and become less engaged and eventually just stop doing them all together. Um, knowing that the restrictions and all of that will be there uh, as I work that stuff out. Um, that's the why. That's the big why as to why I did the surgery as opposed to just kind of doing it my own on my own. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, I'll check back in in another couple weeks again. The, the progression at this point, being that I've lost 80 pounds, um, their expectations are that I will lose somewhere in the realm of another 30 to 40 pounds. Um, but that will take between now and 12 months out from surgery. So the um, progression is going to get a lot slower from here. Um, so, you know, I'll make another video in a couple weeks, uh, just kind of keeping track of where things are at. Um, but it will, I mean, I'm definitely not going to be on an every week uh, video thing at this point because there just won't be much to talk about. So, um, yeah, thanks for uh, paying attention if you are. And again, these videos are kind of for me to remember as they come up in my memories in uh, years to come to remind me where I was at and that I never want to get back to uh, these spots again. So, all right, thanks for watching.